Hey guys, and welcome to the start of something very, very new. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I am McRaven the Miner, your Minecraft extraordinaire. And what I've been doing is a um, like a hardcore Let's Play series, but it's gotten kind of me kind of in a rut because I want to make it beautiful. I want to do everything I can to it. Um, you know, aesthetically, I want to build great things, but it's a hardcore world. So when I die, it's over. Also, I want to um, I want to talk more. I want to communicate with you guys more. Um, and I feel like when I'm so worried about dying, I can't really do that. So this is something a little different. This is a just a single player world. Um, essentially, another let's play. Uh, I'm going to do some things a little bit differently here, though. And we'll talk about that. Um, I did uh, try out a bunch of different seeds before I found this one. I was lucky to find a village so close. And this kind of rolls into the thing I said was a little different. Let's check in here first. Oh, nice. All right. Starting off obsidian. That's the first time I've seen obsidian in one of these. We'll take this too. Um, anyway. Might as well live here. Um, so this is not a regular Let's Play. I mean, there's so many Let's Plays out there. I mean, essentially, it's a normal Let's Play. It's, hey, I'm going to play. You're going to watch me, and you're going to tell me how much I'm awful at this. And, yeah, that's not going to change. What is going to change is this is almost going to have, like, a, a light role-playing sense to it, in a way. Now, for those of you who are like, oh, great, a role-player, what a nerd, and you already left, well, you're missing out. Um, what I'm saying is that I'm going to build this single-player world around a, th a theory, kind of a, a, around a plot, if you will. And uh, I think you guys can work well with me in kind of growing that plot and uh, coming up with some cool stuff. So, the reason I was so excited to find this village wasn't just for, like, the immediate resources and stuff like that, but, but, I also, here's my plan. Alright, here's how we're going to play this. Um, I'm just a guy, alright? Hi, I'm McRaven the Miner, and I'm just, I'm a guy just like you, okay? And I'm brand new to this world, this is a brand new world. As you can see when I started, I had nothing in my inventory. Um, we're going to wake our way up, work our way up through this world. And eventually we'll be king of all that you can see. Everything. Everything we find will become ours. But right now I'm just an, an average guy. Maybe I'm one of these farmers. Essentially I want to take this town, I want to build it up, I want to defend it. Um... And I want to eventually become king of these villagers. And then I want to find another town and be king of them as well. In some towns, I may have to lead with more of an iron fist than others. These guys, I think I'm just going to grow here. And make friends with everyone. And it's going to be a good time. So stick around. We'll have fun. We'll build some cool stuff. Um... You know, eventually I'll build a nice base and everything like that. I want to, yeah, you know, certain things I can't do in my hardcore Let's Play series is like, I want to build a big base. I want to build some, you know, crazy spawners and stuff like that. Spend some time in the nether. Nice. Stuff I'm pretty much terrified to do there. We're going to do here instead. And for any of, any of you who have, um, hmm. Any of you have seen my live stream, you know that I like to interact a lot with you guys. I need to go get some wood. Um, I like to interact a lot with you guys. Like when I'm live streaming, you know, I'm constantly interacting. I interact way more than I play the game. Um, but due to my schedule and my lifestyle, you know, I absolutely love live streaming. And I definitely plan on, I intend to continue to live stream. Um, probably not as much as I have been though. Just because, like, little things. Um, you know, I've got a couple dogs. For those of you who don't know, I do have a, uh, a son on the way. I have a, my wife is six months pregnant. Um, it's tough for me to, you know, schedule out four hours. And during that four hours, you know, pretty much not be a part of the house, you know. So there's a lot of times, you know, I need to 
you know, go do something with my wife or, um, you know, small things that you play with the dogs, let the dogs out and stuff like that. I can plan a YouTube video around that. I can't really plan a live stream around that, so. This will be just a lot easier for me to maintain and to and to really pay attention to, to really put some production quality into and really uh, interact with everyone just through comments and everything like that. So. Let me know what you guys think about the idea, first and foremost. And, you know, before you start yelling at me for lack of execution. Alright. <laughs> um, nice, more saplings. <laughs> Many of you know, I leave, I leave the big trees. Is that another big tree? No. Alright. So this world is, um, well right now I'm on 1.3 pre-release, but it's actually the morning of August 1st. So, 1.3 official should be out today at some point. I'll just update as it goes. And I'll probably keep this updated with snapshots as well, I'm not so sure on that. Um, strictly vanilla, like all the other Minecraft I play. Um, so yeah, there's going to be no mods, nothing crazy here, so please don't request it. You know. If you think there's a really cool mod out there, you want me to check it out, let me know. I'll check it out my own time or over a live stream or something like that, but not in my world. You know. Hope you guys understand that. But what I am also trying out is uh, texture packs. I love checking out new texture packs. And uh, even some old ones that I just haven't seen yet. My favorite right now is actually called Deathscape. Um, and I, there's a link to that in my live stream. I constantly refer to this live stream. Um, there's actually a link in the description. But I love it. It's clean, it's simple, yet it still has detail. It's not just a bunch of block, like a bunch of uh, squares on the ground. You know what I'm saying? I really like stuff like that. So. Maybe if you have a texture pack similar to that, let me know. I'll check it out. Maybe I'll do an episode with it or something like that, you know. Uh, let's see. All right, so that should be good enough for now. 25 pieces of wood and some saplings. Two pigs up here. I feel like we can get away with killing one. Maybe make some pork. Please. Oh, I didn't need to check also. All right, difficulty is hard. Cool. I do plan on keeping it hard all along as well. I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy to just put it on peaceful or anything like that. You know, not my style. If I'm meant to die, then I'm meant to die. What's up, Rochacho? Cool. Cool story. All right. Hopefully, this wheat grows soon too, because I'll start harvesting this. And, let's see. Definitely need to do some repairs around here as well. All this stuff needs to get fixed. And then eventually we'll put a wall around here too. Man, this world needs to load. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but um, this is also on large biomes. Which, if you guys haven't experienced large biomes yet, wow! It's not joking. The word large is an understatement. Massive biomes is more like it. Uh, Alright, I need to... F which one's going to be my house? I don't want to take the best one. Maybe I do. Who am I kidding? Nah. I'm not feeling this one. not feeling it. Sorry. This one. Welcome home, McRaven. Alright. Let's start out. Oh, let's start out by throwing everything we own on the ground. Great. Now we got some stuff set up. Um, doors. We need those. This is going to be interesting, by the way. Because I don't have any weapons or anything. 
Um, all right. Let's make a couple swords. And we might as well make a pick while we're here. Let's get some cobble. I don't like dig it out of my floor. I kind of do. Oh, this is not this is not gonna be pretty. These zombies are gonna show up quick. Yep, there they are. Oh boy. Oh, they're gonna rip this town to shreds. Okay. You need to get inside, dude. Get inside. Doors. We need more doors. Oh, boy. That should do it. There goes most of my wood. Oh. Oh. I got four pieces of iron right now. Why did I like notice that? I'll probably make a sword out of that. You guys need doors? Hey. Hey. Need a door? I'll be your doorman. Here. Now I can get up there too. Is that fair? Like that? Get inside! Dude, get inside! Go! Go! Okay, you need a way up to that one? Hold on. There you go. You might want to move. Thank you. You can get in this, right? There you go. Okay. I'm wasting all my resources trying to protect these guys, and they're just hanging out outside. Oh, there's some skelly up there, too. Oh, that's in my house. Alright, for protection's sake. We have an iron sword. I wish I could give the villagers something like swords to defend themselves. Oh, there. Okay. I'm just here to defend the village. That's it. Day one. Defend the village. Oh! No! What a jerk! What's up? That just happened. Nope. Alright, well, this will only take 15 minutes to do. Yay! Where'd it go? Unfortunately, cobble? You need to go back there. Really? What's up? Oh, man. Oh, hi. Oh, you got... That's not my house. That's not my house. Great. Yeah, so this has been super exciting so far. I actually wrote down, like, topics I want to talk about, too. But we're already, like... <laughs> over halfway done. Well, about halfway done with this video. So. Oh, man. Nighttime stinks. Oh, hi. Really? I was seeking shelter. Jerk. At least give me a bow next time. And this guy's just looking at me. Come on, you want some? You want some? Didn't think so. Oh boy. So, I need to gather more resources here. Um, these villagers seem relatively safe. I like that little cave over there. I might go check that out. 
I'm also assuming this is lava over here. Yep. Hmm, hi. Don't chase him. Don't chase him. Don't do it. Don't worry, dude. I got your back. Now get inside, please. That sound always scares me, like, it probably should be at this point, but every time I hear it, I jump out of the Please tell me I'm not the only one. Oh yeah, thanks to new, um, creeper damage. One of these guys will blow me clear out of my gut. I will straight up die if he blows up near me. Which, I welcome the challenge. It's not easy, though. Oh, man, I see zombies everywhere. This is supposed to be, like, a less intense series. That is not working out for me. Come on. Oh, jeez, really? This might be all she wrote already. Alright, so much for protecting this village. I'm just ripping it apart. <sighs> Breathe. What's up, guys? Oh, leather pants, eh? Oh, whoever is in here, it's not doing so hot right now. Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot of you in here. And what happened here? Oh yeah, I forgot they can do that. Nope, tar. Oh, I have no idea how to place wood now. Like that, okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain. Right? Is it just me, or is that just gonna be a nuisance? Although, you can do some pretty cool stuff with wood now, so... Please be daytime. <sighs> Alright. The sun is coming up. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we are going to go check out that cave. Definitely collect some cobble. Uh, looks like we'll be able to get a pig farm set up rather quickly, too. And that should, uh... Between the pigs and the wheat over there, we'll be good on food. So starting out's going to be a breeze, it looks like. Okay, not much of a cave, I guess. But maybe this will be our mine. This is where our mine will start. as well. Alright. So anyway, now on to my, my list of topics. Now that we are probably near finished with this episode. Uh, well, I guess I just got back on a, from a trip. Uh, a lot of you guys who follow me on Twitter and stuff know, you know I was talking about it. Um, I actually just went back home to upstate New York to um, to be the best man at my best friend's wedding, which is pretty awesome. I just, I love weddings. I love being a part of weddings or even just seeing weddings. Just, there's something about it. There's something so magical about it. I know it sounds corny or whatever. But just, it's one of those rare times where everyone gets together you know, you see old friends and everything, it's because something good is happening, as opposed to, like, someone dying or something bad happening. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah. 
Alright, so we got plenty of cobble now. What is walking around? Is this those pigs? They're kind of freaking me out. This is the beginning of our mine, and this will go all the way down to bedrock. Well, at least to, to diamond layer, if you will. The diamond levels. Oh, man. So, has anybody else been watching the Olympics lately? Pretty great. But, they have been making me think about something. Um, like, just how spoiled rotten I am. Or I feel like I am as an American. You know, I'm watching the Olympics. And, you know, I'm obviously rooting for the Americans to uh, to do well and gold and everything. And I realize, like, I get upset just when they don't get gold. Like I feel let down when an American isn't holding a gold medal at the end. And really, that's just being kind of spoiled. Like. Some countries are, like, they get bronze and they're like, oh, we meddled, you know? And more power to them. Like, that's incredible. So you're able to provide, like, one of the best athletes in a given sport to the world. I'm just like, really? Silver? That's the best you could do? That's it? Maybe if you worked harder. Yeah, I'm just a brat, I guess. I should be more forgiving. Nah, it's not even about forgiveness. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just a brat. <laughs> I should probably take this opportunity to plant those saplings as well. Um, let's see. What else do I need? I'll need one of those. All right. Um, yeah, we'll go plant those. Olympics are fun to watch, though. My favorite part is just watching stuff that, like, I would never think of watching any other time. I consider myself a pretty big sports guy, too. Um, like, water polo? Really? I would never watch water polo. But now I'm watching it, I get all into it, you know? It's like, oh, we're awesome. We're going to be incredible. We're going to do this, this, and this. Oh, it was a cheap shot. Standing up and cheering for goals. Yeah. Maybe I just have too much time on my hands. You're right. <laughs> Alright, that's those for now. Um, actually, better idea. Ta-da! Nice. But I think... Here, let's tear down one of these. And make some charcoal. And we'll cook these pork chops. Don't you just love starting out in Minecraft? Like that first day, the first few days when you have nothing. It's exhilarating to me. Wheat. Oh, hi, pig. It's not for you. Sorry, dude. Not yet. It's not your time yet. Um, alright, where did that place go? What is this place called? The blacksmith? The smithy? Um, okay. Make some charcoal. Make it some charcoal. Anyway. One more topic before we call it a day here. Are any of you guys big NFL fans that have had problems finding ways to get the games? Here's my predicament. All right, let's, let's roll this back and talk about it. Um, I'm I consider myself a huge NFL fan. 
Favorite team's the Buffalo Bills. I don't want to hear it. Don't don't even don't go to the comments here and start talking trash. Just don't. I know. I know. Okay, I know. Anyway. But I love watching every NFL game. I get really into fantasy football and everything like that. Um, and, and you guys can relate to even if it's a different sport. It is a pain to some of the hoops you have to jump through just to see games, like to witness games. Like I, at, at the point now, I will gladly pay money. I'll pay good money to be able to watch all of the games on TV. That's it. Like that's what I want to do. But I don't want to pay for like everything else. Um, I've got everything set up right now. Like I'm currently looking for a job, so I don't have a bunch of money to throw around. We're trying to minimize some costs. And I use DirecTV um, for all my TV and everything like that. But I also use like Hulu Plus and Netflix and stuff to watch almost everything. Like I never watch TV unless it's sports. Damn it. So we're trying to find a way to pretty much dump DirecTV altogether and just stream sports over the internet or something like that. But the only way to get like NFL Sunday ticket is to actually have DirecTV. So I'm stuck just minimizing my package, but still paying for it every month just so I can watch football. So does, do any of you guys have a solution to that? Something you've tried or you've done? Because I am just at my wit's end with this thing. Paying way too much money just to catch a bunch of games. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, I'd apologize for the rants if I was actually sorry. I, I'm sorry. There we go. Now I know where the trees go. Anyway... So that's the gist of uh, of kind of what this series is going to be about. Here's me just running my mouth. So, well, running my mouth and doing cool stuff. And like I said, it's going to have like a, especially once we get established, almost like a light role play feel to it. Where, you know, we're working, working our way up through the masses. We need to protect our village. Then maybe they'll... Uh, Show some respect, because right now, no respect. No respect. Hopefully they show some respect, and uh, maybe I move myself into a place of prominence amongst these people. And then maybe we take these people and go uh, conquer the world. What do you say? Anyway, thank you very much for joining in in the first episode of this. And I have no idea what to call it, so hopefully I come up with a cool name and it gets you all hooked. And, uh... Hey, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you're notified about the next one coming out. I'll try to get these out really regularly, so Let's, if you guys like them. If not, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys. Well, this is McRaven the Miner signing out.